So you might ask, how the heck do grapes grow without any water? Well, it turns out they do need water, and you might ask, how do dates grow? <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, we're in, uh, we're coming out of Pahrump on Highway 178, and we're actually headed to, what's the name of the town, babe? That we're going Tacoma? to? Tacoma? Tacopa. Tacopa. And there's a uh, China Ranch date farm. So we decided to take a little day trip out here. So we're going to take a, uh, a left down here on 127. We actually crossed from the Nevada line into California. And um, we're going to go check out this date farm down here. So catch up with you. Okay, so we've arrived at the uh, China Ranch. So I guess these, you know, these trees, they like the desert environment. Here we have some uh, agave plants for sale. So uh, inside the date farm, they have a gift shop, kind of a little desert uh, trivia, all the stuff about Death Valley. Kind of cool. This is just one section of it. There's for those of you who remember the show, there used to be a Ponderosa, the real Ponderosa Ranch, up on the north shore of uh, Tahoe, but it's it's long gone. But this is the first time I've seen a poster of it. Pretty cool. Just talked to the owner. These are 100%. Uh, organic they don't use any pesticides uh, unlike the big commercial growers this is just a family farm and uh, there's a bunch of different varieties about eight or ten different varieties um, the only way I'll know is if there's a sign out front but we did taste them and they do taste differently have different texture but um, there turns out they are very very healthy uh, before today I knew nothing about a date but now I know a little bit more so they say they, they harvest the fruit once a year um, and the, the cycle takes a whole nother year before they can bear fruit again. Uh, when they're first planted, they said, I want to say four or five years before they can even start to bear fruit. If you can see it, but there's a lot of trimming of these trees. You can see the these bags now. I don't know why all the trees don't have them, but Oh, is that what it is? Yep. Ah. So this is basically so the birds can't get to them. And where there are no bags, the trees are loaded with birds. Ah, that's why. Okay. <laughs> so they let them they let them munch on one set and leave the other leave the others for us. The lady we spoke to in the store said it gets to 115 degrees here quite often. And uh, I guess, you know, these are native to Middle East. So one of the things that we learned was the dates are very um, high in potassium and they're one of the highest antioxidant uh, foods. <coughs> of course, they're, what'd you say, Nancy? They're, um... they're fiber, insoluble fiber because they're, they're um, stringy. Nature's broom. Nature's broom, yes. That's uh, good to know. Mm -hmm. I guess you don't want to eat too many of these things, though. Maintain regularity, that's for sure. <laughs> Maybe over regularity? Possibly. Depends <laughs> on your uh, constitution. You <laughs> might ask, how do dates grow without any water? Well, it turns out this area here is a natural spring. Um, in talking to the owners, they did say that they do need quite a bit of water and they have an irrigation system. And of course, there's a natural spring here. So, out in the middle of the desert, that's why they're growing. So that kind of ends our date with a date. 
<laughs> very funny. Very funny. <laughs> but um, this was very interesting. It was really cool. It was. Um, I have to go back and read a little bit more about them, but we just learned more about dates than we ever knew. I have a date with a date. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. See ya. Take care.